Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 wow. Me say the victory belong to Jesus. Hi guys, I'm Maria, a mother. The victory belong to him. Who can stand against the people then? Who are cook my creel? No one. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning right now, yeah. It's a good day to be alive. Good morning, Shana James. Good morning to you, girl. Good morning, uh, good morning, good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Letish, let let Shia. That's it. Let Shia. Hanson. Good morning to you. Naturally, and I'm good morning to you. I think it's Leti Let Leshia Leshia Hansen. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I do not want to be wrong. I've tried cooking mackerel and failed countless times. You mean mackerel in the can? Can the mackerel you're talking, Leshia? You can't feel at the can mackerel, my girl. Oh, it's Leticia. Oh, so that means I. Oh, Leticia. Le no. Hold on. It's Leticia. Oh, then I didn't write wrong on the YouTube. So, man, Buckham, good morning to you. Buckham Way TV, good morning to you. Yeah, it never tastes like people own. <laughs> Leticia said, I, I can't remember. It never tastes like people own yet. <laughs> so she feel. You don't feel, my girl. Put more garlic. You have to just put pepper. more garlic, put more pepper. Just your own unique twist. To it, yeah, you can't feel baby. I'm to your baby, <laughs> Carrie and Terrell. Good morning. This morning, we're doing classic. This is a classic Jamaican food. Yeah, come back here, show them what you have. This is the dough for the dumpling. That's good morning, the dough. Guys. That's the dough for, for the, the dumpling. Me said the dough for the dumpling. Me said it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Leticia, that the first thing you want to do is you want to create your own flavor palette. Yes, you're going to go places and other people's food is going to be delicious. However, the fact that you're outside of your circle, it means pretty much that you have to develop your own flavor palette. And once you start to like what you're doing, nobody can stop you. Yeah, if them want to have a little bit, of, um, little bit more... Um, um, Flour, little bit more this, little bit more that. You just add a little bit more and go and mess around until you get the, the, the right thing. Buckham says dumpling is their favorite. And that's fried dumpling right there. Fried dumpling. You see, when we're running late, like we are running late today on our breakfast live, you want something where you're comfortable with. Comfort food, you, can't. you call it comfort food. Jamaicans love them. Dumpling, dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, fried dumpling. That's it. So, today we're gonna be beating up the kitchen with some fried dumpling. And, and this is if, if you're talking classic, Akino, good morning to you, sir. If you're talking classic Jamaican, this is it. There is no other classical Jamaican than the original Grace mackerel. There is other mackerels out there that are good and other brands that are, you know, whatever. But classic Jamaican. Yeah. And we have to give credit where credit is due. Because me as a youth, well, this is not an endorsement, by the way. Well, it's not a paid endorsement, you know. But um, I'm a guy who, when I go to the store, I buy what I can afford. Hence the whole in, um, the whole vibe of turning your hand to make fashion, and I buy what's practical. But when it comes to classic Jamaican 
food yeah and i have a very i have a very crazy question this morning if you're jamaican you know what this is called there's one of the nickname for this is type in the nickname the nicknames that you know for this thing right here because jamaicans have some crazy nicknames for this so type in the nicknames in the comment box if you know one type it in it's Leticia gone right there. <laughs> Leticia said, don't take it <laughs> What other nickname do you know for this one? <laughs> Akira, you know, that is thinking, girl. Where not going? <laughs> what? Flash out? Flash out, yes. Yeah, man, flash out is one. Flash out. Jamaicans are very um, creative, you know. I know so, one, but may I wait till next <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, it's like, Akira, you're sick. You know? You're sick. You're a sick puppy. That is <laughs> but... <laughs> wow. Kitchen bim? Never heard that one before. That one is new. I mean, never hear flash out either. No, flash out are regular, man. Flash out are shake out. Never heard. Shake out too. Shake out is one too. Um, look at this, guys. This was one of the tester dumplings. Watch out. No, you tell them. Yeah, so who mm. was saying? Was it Leticia was saying that hers never come out good? Her mm -hmm. mackerel? So mm -hmm. this is what you do. No matter how many times we make fried dumpling, guys, I always like pour out the ingredients, the dry ingredients in a bowl. Move, you're backing. Oh. <laughs> always pour out the dry ingredients in a bowl and then I a small amount of it and add the water to it and then knead that small no, amount of dough. You have to have a mackerel, you have to have a dough. No, no, but it's the same principle. You you just keep testing. You have a test. So you need and, a little bit of mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> you adjust. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just adjust, adjust, adjust. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, no matter how much time I make fried dumpling, I always keep, um, just test a little bit and then fry it. And then if it's okay, I fry everything. If it's not okay, then I can add more baking powder or more sugar or more shrimp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move. <laughs> All right. Let me show you guys what I have on my table. All right. Okay. So. I have two tin of flash out, two tin of dirty girl. And tin boom. Yeah, some people call it tin boom. This one, guys, is it, it, it says classic. However, this is a hot and spicy version. It's been, it, it come around a little bit after the, the original one, yeah? Which is, this is the original one. All right? And for, for me, my mama showed me how to make it by adding cucumber. I never know that you could add cucumber to it but my mama did it and it turned out well now i don't know back in the day when she was adding cucumber it was in order to stretch oh, okay. the liquor mackerel because mm -hmm. <laughs> you never be you'll be surprised you know said so this one can serve maybe five people <laughs> yeah my mom serving about two serving per, per container you're mad man she you want to live in a ghetto yeah you want to live in a ghetto and see how this serve <laughs> about five with this I serve. All right. Can you allow me to do my video? <laughs> I have some red onions and I love red onions. That's why I'm using so much. You don't have to use so much. I have a whole bunch of tomatoes here and we normally buy our the, the little baby tomatoes and they're starting to get um withered because they've been out there for maybe about three, four weeks. And so we're just going to, yeah. And guys, don't put your tomatoes in the fridge. Don't put your tomatoes in the fridge. Yeah. All right, then I have scallion. Have some scallion there. I have a little bit of shadon benny or culantro that I'm going to add. And I have three cloves of garlic. I also have thyme. If you're Jamaican and cooking tin mackerel, you have to have thyme. All right. And I also have um, scotch bonnet pepper, but that's in the fridge. All right. So that's where we are right there. Terian, Terrell. Is the first I'm hearing cucumber can add to tin mackerel. I promise you, Terian. If you try it, it work. What that means? Garlic. I have garlic. Oh. Yeah, man, it work. Trust me, it works. It works, works, works. It works wonders too. You'll be surprised. I promise you. 
Terian. If you try it, you will be like, wow, yeah, the belly was right. And you'll see how I add my cook, um, cucumber to it. Yeah. And let me just wash my parsley. And I'm an avid season, I'm an avid washer. So I'm going to wash everything uh, two times. And let me just carry you, come show you what's going on over here and the wifey side of, of life. Yeah. Wifey are going with things. Big things are going 2004. And let me teach you guys a trick, right? So, Master Yip, good morning, sorry. Master Yip, good morning to you, sir. Big up yourself. We ran out of oil, guys. Can you believe it? We ran out of oil. We never run out. The oil was done. I'll done, pan we. So... I have to draw for my coconut oil, which I don't know. You have, you don't you really, you don't really oil. want to deep fry in um coconut, coconut oil. oil. It yeah. doesn't have a high burning temperature, or so. Bur yeah. Burn te burning temperature, so it's not ideal. So I don't really have a lot of oil in the pot. So that's why I made the shapes this way. So it's easier to fry. You see the holes in the middle? It doesn't require as much soaking as if you made the, you know the round dumpling that we're used to so yeah and then also it's it creative and it create it look good too these are like dumpling knots if you ask me harder belly yeah. do not make it look barbara loy spence good morning to you and i don't know why why the coconut oil always froth up like this because because the coconut oil is cooking cooking on itself yeah it's not refined it's not a refined oil so it's mm. actually cooking oh okay so nothing is wrong? Nothing wrong. Okay. Cool. And I threw a virgin coconut oil, so the virgin is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> In a loose. <laughs> virgin. Wow. <laughs> Those are so bad conversations. Yes. Bad conversations. You're so bad. But yeah, so this is our fried dumpling going on over here. Which is what takes the longest if you ask me. So I went ahead and made some. This is uh, this is like a nut. What were your ingredients? For ingredients, I don't measure. That's why I have to test. What I need to do is to actually figure out how much flour I'm using, and then I can know a standard to add. But I always just eyeball the flour, so that's why I always test. So anyway, I use all-purpose flour, unbleached, and I use baking powder. And I can't tell you how much because I eyeball it. One day I'm going to just measure it so I can tell you guys the exact measurement. So flour, baking powder, sugar, which I like. Not everybody uses sugar in their dumplings, but I like the kind of umami, sweety, salty taste that you get from the dumpling oh, when, it has, when it has a little sugar in there. So I use sugar, salt, <laughs> sugar, salt, butter, and... To knead the dumpling, I don't just use water. I use a little bit of almond milk with that. So, there you have it. That's the ingredients that I use for the dumplings. And yeah, these are pretty much done. I like when they're golden brown. You don't like when they're, you know, get too dark. And that's where they're heading. So, I'm going to take them out of the pot like right now. See? And I put it on a piece of hand towel so it drains yeah don't play with that you watching the comments be mm -hmm. miss k good morning to you joan reed good morning good morning oh miss joan said joan she says cucumber to her song mackerel wow okay, I guess. that's a good one girl okay you see that's why i'm always a little bit perturbed when people come on my on my comments and then them chew me out mm -hmm. for making it unique or yeah. do it my way because there's no hard and fast rules for what you're doing you can just you know be creative mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't like when they see creativity you know other people being creative mm -hmm. you know and that's the whole idea there in jamaican food we're creative and we do things unique you know hence tonya handmade fashion some people come on and see you making those 
dumplings now. Hear them. And a Jamaican food that. And a dumpling. That and a dumpling. And where you come from mm. with that. And they are For very real. vicious. Some of them behind the computer. Them vicious. vicious. Mm -hmm. They will chew you and out and spit, spit you out. Mm -hmm. You know. And where you come from with that. That and a dumpling. You need to go back to school. You need to Jamaican. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the Jamaican race. Oh, Lord, you hear that already? You hear that? I've heard that. that Gu guys, disgrace. if you guys even sometimes to watch those comments, that, that make it. And some of them so don't some make of them it. Just have to delete. Yeah, some of them get, get delete. You guys watch some of those comments. Some people just sound so ignorant with their Angry. comments. You know? Angry. Crazy. Trust me. Ridiculous, I say. And where you come from with that? You are not Jamaican. <laughs> no, so, so yeah, this is how I do the knots. Take the camera a little bit close, but I make a long twiggly. And then I just wrap it around itself and push the ends under and upwards to make a little knot. Yay. I mean, like the creative dumpling, man. They are very nice. When we go out of the box, we make our heart shaped dumpling or I make initial dumpling. So he would get the one that says why. And then J for Josh the Real and all of that foolishness. But this is not the morning <laughs> for all of that drama. It's <laughs> all about the hungry bellies right now. This is the juggling morning. Mm hmm. You create your own thing, Jamaican make something out of nothing. Amen. Thank you. Some of these people are just watching you to slip. And I know. They will eat you raw. True. That's They're true. They're just Abba. waiting for the Maybe negative. This is a sign you are all destined to hire uh, being you need because every time I've gone back home to a Jamaican resort, the chefs always shape them, shape them uniquely. And uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. And if you really are tr uh, and truly are home, and you will see how much innovation Jamaican chefs are making nowadays in the kitchen, Jamaican food no normal again. When you when you go home, them Jamaicans are doing some crazy <laughs> things. You know, Jamaicans are jerking pineapple. Jamaicans are making uh, rum ice cream and different things and innovative things, and they are they are stepping out of the box. But yet we have a bunch of folks who. They will come at you and they will eat you alive. Mm -hmm. Marlon Peanut, good morning. Yes, I come to your breakfast. <laughs> juggle, my you, juggle. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, man, they will eat you alive, man. This morning you were you were you were looking at a scripture. See, what was it again? Yeah. This morning you were looking at the scripture and saying, Wow. The scripture that says he who is faithful in, in Mm -hmm. will be faithful in much faithful in much and he who is un faithful un unjust unjust in little you will do the very same with a lot and so i think it is pretty much saying however you act when you when you when you have um Small a amount. simple situation mm -hmm. it's pretty much the same way you will act if you have you know a, a grander or a bigger or, or more important situation so for example now if god bless you with this little kitchen right here so for example you can't take care of it. right <laughs> and you don't put your best foot forward you just slap dash everything and deal with it that way pretty much when him, if, if and when you get blessed with a big mega kitchen with a nice island and everything is um granite countertop you're going to do the same thing mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and if you look at a situation um for example mm -hmm. for example if somebody give you overchange and you hold about the overchange and you don't give it back to the person when you know within your heart that you got more money than you was due to you Chances are when a bigger situation come you're gonna do the same um you know unjust mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thing. It's just a mindset. 
Right, right, you right. You know, it's a mindset and a principle that is embedded within you. Right. Go on, my so. girl. Preach, <laughs> preach, sister. Hallelujah. Have color low down. We are saying embedded. Mm-hmm. It's embedded with you. And I think the person that you are will come through no matter how big or how small the situation is. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless up yardy. I am new to the live. What time do you guys normally do breakfast? Elton. Us, Elton morning to you. Uh, we are normally on at nine on a Thursday, but if you if you make sure your notification bell is on, we also go live periodically because we're crazy like that. Like last. So night. like last night we was we were live um, making um, empanadas or quesadillas rather. Um, but yeah, so we're we're trying our best to do what we do. It's it's not a hard and fast. Normally it's around nine ish. Between 9 to 10. Not, 10 is usually pushing it. Mm-hmm. So it's anywhere between 9 to 10. Like this morning we walked. So we kind of got thrown off a little bit. And we had to go to the post office. This morning she walked. Yes, you're cute. Don't look at the background. Don't look behind her. The kitchen nicey. But this is my, our, my um, the t-shirt from the, the YouTube line. Yeah, Tonya Handmade Fashion. Alright. And it means pretty much use what you have. To you had quesadilla last night because of you, Guanshana, your boss. <laughs> oh, you about my map? oh it has the Jamaican map on the back right there. You are the lifestyle, and uh, yeah. All right, stop. Show yourself now. Show me. And my shirt says, "You are the belly TV." Mm-hmm. This is pretty much the tagline shirt. Make fashion. Your hand and and I know my chest thick and everything. I so, know. Right? So chest broad, man. She's, um, <laughs> Broad chest. Show the muscles, muscles, oh. muscles. Yeah. What up the muscles? Hold on. Alright guys, sorry about the foolishness. What we can, it's like a small kitchen, small house. And until the Lord bless us with a, with a house of our own, we have to make do. The whole idea behind my channel, guys, is to be creative. It's to, as I said, turn your hand and make fashion. Utilize what you have to make something great. And so it's Jamaican food, but it's always with a twist. It's always essential and it's always um, unique. And that's the whole idea behind our channel. All right. So today, let's recap. Always with a twist. Oh, please, sure. <laughs> <laughs> today we're working with the classic Jamaican Tin mackerel, yes, or them call it dirty girl, yeah. And and you know, funny enough, the the whole the whole meaning behind dirty girl is is lost in antiquity, but it, it alludes to a whole lot of stuff that maybe I don't want to talk about. But Jamaicans have a unique way of making descriptions and describing things and changing up things, and hence the name dirty girl, tin boom, um, shake out, flash out. All the names you can prescribe, Jamaicans have it for the different, different things that they're cooking. So, everything has been cut up and I'm just going to try to start the, the, the cooking process now. And we're using coconut oil for this one. So, and we have this unique coconut oil that we got from Vita Coco. And Vita Coco is one of the leading um, coconut um coconut water producers in the US. I don't know if they're of the US, but yeah. My garlic and my scallion. And I normally add my thyme by just going backwards on it like that and you get the thyme off. And I'm just gonna add my onions as well and start to quickly saute. I'm not getting I'm not getting to see the comments because I am um paying attention to this but the wife will answer. Yes man. And of course the shirts can be had on our YouTube page. You see that shop now button that's below the video? When you're watching Yard Belly TV, just click on it and there's a whole host of designs there. Um, different types of Jamaican teas if you want to represent fest, um, festival and, and, and what you call it again? Festival coming up? Carnival. No, not carnival. Um, Jamaican independence. independence. Yeah. Okay. And you might want something to represent in your neck of the woods. Oh, and you have a lot of other um, 
designs to with Dominican flags and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice, nice, nice. So you just pretty much want the, the, the vegetables to, to toast a little bit. Yeah, keep your fire at a good um, place. Yeah. And I'm gonna add the tomatoes at this time and the shadow benny. Now shadow benny is a very nice vegetable guys called culancho. Most Jamaicans don't use it. However, it is widely used in places like Trinidad and Tobago and Eastern Caribbean countries. It's also used in Asian cooking, um, um, Malaysian cooking and them type of cooking there. It's very nice and it's available in the US in the local super, um, Latin supermarket. Kulancho or Shadon Benny. And mackerel is really, really supposed to be used like a stew. So this one. Now a lot of people will say you have to open the mackerel and clean it up and all of that. And guys, yes, some people do, but not everybody does. And sometimes I open it like when it's in the pot and, and clean it up there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You pretty much just open the mackerel from this side when it's small like that you know that there's really not much to clean when it is the big ones you know then you, you clean it the jack, the jack mackerel i clean that one see i normally don't clean the small ones because i know that there's really not much to them so when you open it there's absolutely nothing there and don't throw out the mackerel bones guys because the mackerel bone is protein yes yeah, some people don't eat it but don't throw it out trust me Yeah, man, people come for me all the time and say, you know, you, 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 you're, you're, too, you're too nasty. Why you don't throw up the, the bone? Why you don't clean the mackerel? Well, people don't throw up the mackerel and eat it raw, you know. Mm -hmm. Just add onions and stuff and eat it as is. Yeah. And if you're from a Jamaican household, you know what to do next, right? What Jamaicans do next, throw a little water in at the tin mm -hmm. and throw it back into the sun. That's what we do. I'm just being real. You know, I'm not fake. I'm not fake and I'm not pretending. That's what we do. And this is where now you want to add your, your other little um, herbs. You know, you want to add some smoked paprika. Just a little. You want to add some garlic salt. And I normally don't add salt because I'm adding all of these, um, you know, and just a little bit of Old Bay. Old Bay is a fish um, seasoning that is available here. And you can add your Old Bay. And that's, that's pretty much it. And one other thing that I normally add is a little sugar. But we run out of sugar, so then don't sleep. That's what I'm going to tell you. So you have to, be, you have to turn your hand and make fashion. You understand? Don't sleep. So I'm adding one package of the sugar. Turn my stove down. And oh yes, I have to add my pepper. And I normally keep the peppers in in my refrigerator. When I keep my peppers in my refrigerator, they last much longer, and it also tones down the the, the, the level of, of um capsaicin. Mm -hmm. What the 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 the, the, the agent in the pepper will make it hot. Okay. Capsaicin. And the wife and I really like pepper, so I normally go easy. But you see, when I don't want to eat enough of the food, wow. I put enough pepper. So I'm wicked? So you know, so today, I want to do this. You are wicked. 
Well, I feel like the cucumber will help to um, neutralize the pepper, right? I'm not bad at putting it. <laughs> <laughs> you are evil. And that's, that's it, you know, guys. I promise you. You see how it's simple? Look how it's simple. Allow the food to cook and to do its thing. Um, I'm going to add a little butter. But I use real butter, guys. I don't use margarine. And this one is whipped butter from um, Publix. And butter is nice because it carries a nice little flavor. Nice, nice, nice. If you're liking what's going on, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's so divine right now. It tastes so good. Guys, if you like what is going on and you're ready for the plating, go ahead and give him a thumbs up. Just you might have to just exit the chat for a second, a quick second, and then just hit that that thumbs up um button below the video. And then you just add your cucumber at the last, 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 last minute. And you fold it in. And you remember you have to fold because you don't want your mackerel to crush up. Beautiful. See that? And that's your nice dirty girl with cucumber. Look the man, look how it's beautiful. Look there. Wow, wow, that's so pretty. And you have to eat with colors, guys. Remember me tell you that. You have to eat with colors. Add colors to your diet. You know, don't make your diet be boring and just, yeah, yeah you know. Have to color it up. Color. You turn down the You know what I'm going to add yet? What I'm going to add yet, see? Mm, ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup have to add. You have to add ketchup. Even if you don't need it, add it. <laughs> right, right. It's just one of them things. Yeah. And as you can see, we actually bought ketchup this time, so we didn't have to go to <laughs> our Chick fil A ketchup. <laughs> normally we have. Look if you see any Chick fil A ketchup over there. So just of to show course you. we do. Are we serious about what we think? We're always in stock. Here. <laughs> Faithful, <laughs> and they give us Heinz at, at Chile. Shout out to Chick fil A, no <laughs> off brand, yeah, <laughs> no out oh, oh, the brand. <laughs> and that's our take on a Jamaican classic. Oh, you tell them that Chick fil A giving no, not no, sir, <laughs> on the 29th. <laughs> to the 31st. <laughs> Why? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Rice and porky. And how do I serve this this morning? See? It's two separate containers mm -hmm. or one big container? Mm -hmm. Do you just have a can stay by themselves? I don't know. No, I'm camera. Never one thing? No, I'm just serving a plate. Making a plate. Mm. Alright. Christine Gale Dixon, new here. Good morning. First time watching live, but watch most of your videos. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Christine. We're glad you caught us live and in living colors. Live and direct. <laughs> you know what live and direct mean? <laughs> right, Risa Goal, February 29th to the 31st is when Chick fil A giving away the free sandwich. <laughs> so if you can't catch them <laughs> during that period of time, you're good to go. <laughs> good. Marina and just Andrews, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, rather. It's or is morning? morning. It's still morning. 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 Uh, Myrna, where are you again? Maybe it's afternoon in her in the other ones. But we're still in the AM over air still. So it's 10.29. Oh, yeah, UK. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's afternoon for, for you. 
Me dey try the avocado, but the avocado them suck. Sucky. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna leave it to the side. I can't bother. Cause it's not worth it. Not worth my time and effort to even attempt to put any avocados on this plate. Precious memory. Oh, they linger. Oh, they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight. Precious sacred scenes unfold. Anybody remember them song? Let me know you remember it because your mother used to sing it. Precious memory. How oh, they linger, oh, they ever flood my soul, in the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. And of course, you guys didn't realize, but I'm doing some plantains over here so buy. I bought sweet plantains for her and she nah done she does a put plant for everything I love sweet plantains I like them fried I like them boiled I like them baked I like them in, in planting tarts I like them everywhere possible hold on the guys me, me come me come me come watch I know put on your red dress me show on the this name and those high heels <laughs> and some of that sweet perfume it sure look good on you <laughs> you need to get a new um, a new point son. New food point son. <laughs> put on your red dress <laughs> every time a food point me have to sing a song yeah. good morning Eileen Daly from Port St. Lucie good morning Eileen 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 <laughs> Boy, Wait, Eileen said. Risa Gold said, so "You guys have been on Pinterest search for flash out." <laughs> Christine says, "I've tried this with opera before, but never cucumbers. Gonna try for dinner tonight. Wow, you should, girl." It's yes, great. I promise you. I promise you. Morning, Laura Henry. Good morning to you. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna put the plate, set the plate on fire. To the plate. Right, Laura, we miss you too. It's been a while, right? For reals, for reals. It's been a mad while since we saw you on the live. For reals, Where Laura. Where you been, at? Where you been, girl? Laura, you dash away. Laura, you get rich and switch. Mm hmm. You can know when people have money, you know, them just disappear. Laura, man, check if I you win the lotto. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this plate some justice right now. Alright. I have to find one nice piece of mackerel to put on the top. So the wife can start taking our our Instagram pictures then. Like so. And like so. How does that look guys? Look good? Awesome sauce. And then, 
you put one of the twist i'm just gonna put twist i'm just gonna put two twists wait wait not this one this other long twist and then over here now you put this one then you put the rings and you put this ring over here and then is that what they call get a steak no mm -mm. get a steak a, 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 a bully beef oh. then you have to grab your your scissors now and cut your parsley How that look folks let me know let me know oh let me know oh forget about this you know i will put one of that one of that one over there so jesus watch the fancy gourmet breakfast and one over there so no, sir. <laughs> you is going on bad. How it look? You going on very bad. Grab your camera, my girl. We need the wooden mats for this. Yeah, so. It is in case you want. Tell me if not one good, guys. Give me a thumbs up there. food <laughs> no. almost all right laura can you believe he was just on the list two weeks ago before he got a kakuda what is that hold on oh they're having a conversation up here so okay oh Laura okay. said, no man, my husband had a double lung transplant. Oh wow, transplant two weeks ago. God is good. God is wow. good. I remember we prayed for our husband. Yeah, double lung transplant. That's a big deal, girl. That's a big deal. Hope he's doing well. Beautiful. Oh gosh, Laura, hope he's doing well. You need to open up a restaurant. I didn't say you need to open up a restaurant. He's doing good. The doctors did really well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. That is good. That is good. <laughs> Risa said, I don't think Matthew ever looks so pretty. Marina, I'm normally at work, but at the moment I'm on a holiday. That's why. Oh, yeah, British people say holiday. So, you're going to take your pictures? Taylor, why you mean we have to go on to the dumpling? <laughs> <laughs> this flare <flavor> bad. <laughs> How are we looking, guys? Wow. Let me just show you guys what's going on right here. Ten, ten L T. Yeah, man, you still have to do it. Make breakfast exciting, like a hotel you're there, you know? You understand? Yes, man. Why if you outdo yourself? Yeah, she's going bad with the dumpling, then. May I tell you the truth? The wife, she is, her dumplings are happening. They are occurring. Shauna James says it looks so good. Look at, look at it, look at it, look at it. Jesus, um, peace. Nice. I feel it to my heart. I tell you the truth. John Reed says, looking wicked. So once again, guys, you have to make sure you turn your hand and make fashion. Yes. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. 
making transmission as well we are we were having a little bit of internet trouble yeah but we are back we should be back and we're getting on with the food again yep yep good to go so what we have here let me just spin my camera around is the original canned mackerel canned mackerel yes um elton it happens every now and then that it goes in and out um it's a signal thing and we we are just uh, victims of it we have to just deal with it and try to reconnect um whenever it happens so i apologize uh, again for that happening but as you can see we're pretty much um victims ourselves yeah hopefully we can correct it in the near future all right so once again guys this is our handiwork for today and i do hope that you guys will stick and stay and watch our live a little bit more uh we hope to come on before the weekend is over and show you something else from our escapades <laughs> uh, it's, uh, but until such time mm -hmm. it tastes so good dumpling to eat mm. tastes real good stop no, it's not, but... Alright, guys, so we'll talk again. We'll see you soon, alright? Remember, live and laugh, cook and eat, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate each and every one of you, alright? Yeah, man, totally sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Have yourself a good a good day guys and bless you so much. thank you so much on and for being with us and we'll just we'll do this again all right i do hope that you enjoyed this recipe this morning and just have yourself a good day all right